Hi guys, so today I want to continue to talk about my wash day process and in the last video I talked about how I condition, detangle and shampoo my hair. In this video I want to go through my deep conditioning process and also I want to highlight some of my favorite deep conditioners for moisture and protein. So let's just jump right into the process. So in my last video, which was about the shampooing process, I ended where my hair was in four sections and I rinsed the conditioner and shampoo out of my hair. So from there, I just take down each section and I apply my deep condition mixture. I'll go into detail later about what my deep condition mixture is, but right now I just want to go through the process. So if I want a really good deep condition, I actually apply my deep conditioner as though I'm applying a relaxer. So I take very small sections and I go from root to ends with an applicator brush, applying my deep condition mixture. And I do this when my hair just feels like it needs a little extra TLC or when I'm going to flat iron my hair and I really need a lot of moisture in my hair so that it will combat humidity. I apply my deep conditioner like this. When I'm not doing it like this, I just take each section and apply a generous amount of deep conditioner focusing on my edges and on the ends of my hair. So I apply the deep conditioner to each section of my hair. I just go under my soft bonnet dryer for about 30 minutes with heat. And when I get out from under the dryer, spend another 15 minutes or so with the deep conditioner in my hair before I rinse it out. Now, when I'm rinsing it out, I ensure that my last rinse is with cold water. This really helps to close the cuticles and to shut all of the good stuff in that you've just put in while you will deep, con deep conditioning. So that's it for the deep conditioning process. After I rinse the deep conditioner out of my hair, I go on to styling, which I will address in my next video. So now I just want to talk to you a bit about what I used to deep condition my hair and some of the extra ingredients I add just to boost it up a bit. So whenever I'm deep conditioning my hair, I always add coconut oil and glycerin. And I use this because glycerin is a humectant, which means it draws moisture into the shaft of your hair. And coconut oil is one of the few oils that can actually penetrate the shaft of your hair. So on to my favorite deep conditioning products. And this is the first one I will show you. This is the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Mask. And this is $44.95 at Pennywise, so it's really affordable. And I just love this product. Um, I've used this for about three years, and I'm very, very satisfied with it. It really infuses a lot of moisture into your hair. And I love to use this when my hair just feels a little so stiff and hard and like really dry. I always go for my Neutrogena Triple Moisture Mask. And this is another deep conditioner that I use for moisture. It is the L'Oreal Power Moisture Moisture Rush Mask. And this is $49.95 again, um, pretty affordable. I've used this once before and I was really, really satisfied with it. So I decided to repurchase and it is a really good product. And I will continue to purchase it and sort of interchange between the Triple Moisture Mask and this mask. One of my favorite all time deep conditioners is this olive oil organic root stimulator replenishing conditioner and you'd also get these in the little packs and this is $46.95 this is one of the conditioners that I've repushed this for years I probably use this for about five years and I love it um, it's the perfect balance between moisture and protein it's not a heavy protein at all it's pretty the last Conditioner I'm going to show you is another protein conditioner. This one is a bit heavier protein. This is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I really, really like it. Um, this, like I said, it's a heavier protein and I use this more often now because of the um, bleach I did at the ends of my hair. The deep conditioner that I'm going to be trying really soon is the L'Oreal Protein Conditioner. So it's similar to this. The packaging is very, very similar, but the product inside is yellow and it this one is a moisture mask and the other one that i'm going to try is for protein so i will let you guys know how that one works out for me but i'm really excited to try it because i was surprised that i like the moisture one 
and i really think i would like the protein conditioner and it's really easy like if you have any difficulty determining what is the moisture what is the protein a lot of the companies are coming straight out and marketing it as moisture or protein for you now before you would have to look at the ingredients and look for keywords like repair or soften and stuff like that but now a lot of the products have stepped up their game and are actually marketing moisture mask and protein treatments so you don't really have any confusion in terms of determining what is protein and what is moisture so i'm really happy about that so that's it really for my deep conditioning process and the products that i use to deep condition in my next video like i said before i'm going to be talking about styling my hair the products that i use um you have guys already seen the products but i'm still going to mention them uh, so thanks so much for watching guys and see you next time bye